Hello and uh, welcome uh, to my uh, twin review of the Git 2 and the SJ Cam M20. I want to do a full comparison between uh, these two models because SJ Cam M20 was uh, just released while the Git 2 has uh, some uh, spent some time on the market as it's a bit older. Both camera use exactly the same hardware configuration. Both use uh, the same uh, Novatec chipset and both use the same uh, Sony uh, image sensor. So they practically use the same hardware platform but have uh, different uh, firmwares with different features, options and of course are uh, different optimized. Uh, before I'm going to show you footage and comparison between uh, the two of them, I'm also going to talk ab about the accessories and compatibility with accessories of each model and I'm also going to compare the two of them. I'm going to start with the waterproof case. On the Git 2 you get uh, this waterproof uh, case which has a smart uh, locking system. You cannot accidentally open it. You just need to press this first and only after that this will to twist and open and it's very easy to close you just need to uh, keep this close to the latching system and twist it and it will do the rest for you and now it's uh, closed it's very easy to use uh, another advantage is that uh, uh, you can use the same waterproof case from the GoPro 4 with the G2 as they both has a identical size mm -hmm. uh, while uh, the G2 also has a LCD screen on the back while the GoPro does not have uh, an LCD. The M20 has a proprietary design uh, waterproof case and it uses a conventional latching system like on the GoPro where you can uh, just simply pry this open and the case now it's not secured anymore so, uh, you have a small risk of uh, accidentally opening it but uh, the latching is uh, very powerful so you need to apply a bit of force so maybe there will not be a lot of accidents waiting to happen but uh, you do not have a supplementary security measure not a big deal but uh, I wanted to show you both mechanisms and how they work. Also, you can only use their waterproof case, you cannot use an alternative waterproof case, but that's because of the shape of the camera. Moving on uh, to other accessories, on the Git 2 you can use uh, GoPro filters like a CPR filter which is uh, very easy to install you just push it over the lens and that's all if it's not fixed you just use a small piece of uh, teflon tape and it will be secured uh, the same could be used on this camera but the difference is too big and you cannot use teflon tape to cover the distance and uh, you can also see that the lens on the M10 it's shorter or less exposed and uh, this will uh, lead to vignetting effect which will show black corners around the image if you try to use a filter with it a filter like this uh, another uh, interesting uh, and uh, highly appreciated functions of these uh, cameras are the remote controls wireless remote controls uh, these are uh, not uh, Bluetooth remote controls, they are uh, simply wireless remote controls that use something similar with Bluetooth technology, but it's not Bluetooth technology. From the design point of uh, view, the SJ's uh, remote looks a bit uh, better and uh, when it's uh, converted to a watch it looks more like a watch and uh, it has a plastic band while this is a textile uh, band and uh, also uh, this one has uh, four LED lights this one only has two but not, not that's not important it's uh, 
their functionality which is almost identical while uh, the design uh, I told you that I like this more because we can take the remote which is actually only this metal part that I'm going to take out eventually so this is a remote and you can uh, put it into this uh, small holder and this okay. will fit on uh, SJ Cam's uh, monopod or selfie stick as you will see and it slides over the handle and you have a selfie with a, with a remote which is uh, nice thinking of uh, them and uh, it has uh, a great uh, design and usability while the uh, little remote it's a simple remote that you can wear it as a watch with uh, the same uh, functionality what's uh, also interesting to know about the remotes is that uh, this is uh, tested to three meters of uh, depth uh, or uh, water resistant while uh, this uh, does not have a rating yet uh, we'll wait uh, from SJ Cam to tell us uh, its uh, rating and uh, the depth of which can be taken so you can actually swim with this but not dive with it moving on uh, Git uh, app also has a monopod it's a, a GP54 uh, monopod which is uh, short and uh, solid you can uh, buy it from their website it's an optional device but it's very solid it's aluminium just like the SJ Camps one so both monopods are uh, tough and uh, they will not wobble which is good for both of them for the cameras to be used in various situations besides uh, in uh, their waterproof case which is supplied with a uh, frame uh, the M20 has this uh, proprietary frame which goes like this and when you insert it it will trigger it and power it on because this part of the plastic will push on the power button and on SJ Cam if you short press power button the camera will turn on while on the git 2 if you short press the power button it will not start because it has uh, anti-start uh, protection because when you carry the camera you may accidentally push the buttons and uh, when you arrive at your destination you will be left with a flat battery so you need to keep this pressed a few seconds to turn it on on the SJ it will turn on instantly the G2 comes as uh, standard with uh, this uh, frame which just lets the camera slide in like this and it leaves a lot of uh, space around so you can access the SD card all the buttons and uh, all the plugs and uh, leaves a lot of room even for a bit of room here for the holes for uh, the camera venting system so it will not overheat and uh, this frame also works reverse so you can insert the camera upside down with no problem and it only uses one screw so you can uh, mount it on top or on the bottom and you just uh, turn the camera as you need to while on uh, this you cannot reverse the camera you need to use either the top mounting or the bottom mounting this is only for design the advantage of the G2 it's the form factor because you can also use it with this which is an open frame for a GoPro 4 and you can just slide the camera in like this and it's now secured in this which was made for the GoPro but it will fit the git up you can see you have access also to the USB you have access to the buttons and even a portion of the LED here matches the hole here so it's very okay 
there's also a variant of this uh, case which has a bigger opening here so you can access the SD card which is very nice another useful accessory for the G2 is the external microphone which is uh, also compatible with the GoPro 4 they use the same layout so you can uh, capture uh, sound better with uh, higher quality and uh, you can also use it uh, to uh, get sound from another uh, perspective away from the camera so you can have detail and you can also protect this uh, from wind it's also useful if you do uh, motorcycle vlogging you can uh, insert this into your helmet so when you talk on uh, your motorcycle you will get sound on the footage which is very nice on the M20 there uh, isn't a microphone yet and it's not been announced so we'll see if uh, this comes to an SJ camera soon or not and uh, last but not least another uh, an important thing it's the power for the camera the G2 uses this type of battery which is also compatible with SJ cam battery the G2 battery is a bit bigger and uh, you can use this uh, charger which is a dual slot charger which charges both batteries and both are compatible with the uh, G2 camera while the M20 uses a new designed battery which looks like this it has uh, the same capacity as uh, the older batteries which were uh, uh, having uh, 900 milliamps hour you can see here 900 milliamps hour and this one also has 900 milliamps hour they are roughly the same size but this one has uh, the contacts outside of uh, their casing um, what's bad about this is that uh, SJ Cam used this type of battery on almost all of their models and with the M20 they chosen this one I don't know why they wanted to keep this as small as possible but uh, I think they could have managed to use a slightly bigger battery and uh, chose the same format for compatibility. Alright, so this was the comparison with accessory and between the cameras and their shape and size. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the video footage test, which will uh, test uh, a lot of things like dynamic range, uh, stabilization of the gyro system and I'm going to use some annotations on the video and uh, those are my thoughts about each camera and uh, how it acts in uh, those situations. I hope that uh, you found uh, this uh, comparison between them interesting and uh, be sure to follow uh, future tests that I may do between uh, both of them as uh, SJ Cam is uh, very new released model and uh, there will be some uh, firmware updates for it for sure so things uh, may improve or it may get some uh, uh, new features and uh, it's uh, nice to know about uh, that bye bye